Hi and welcome to lesson one of the New Year 5 unit of work called Living Things and their Habitats and has a particular focus on the life cycles of animals and plants. In this video you're going to consider the ways that plants reproduce. You'll be successful uh, by the end of this video and within the lesson if you can explain the differences between sexual and asexual reproduction. You'll be able to identify the functions of different parts of the flower and we're going to describe the ways in which plants are pollinated in order to reproduce. Before we begin, let's have an overview of reproduction. So all living things need to make more of themselves so that their species do not die out. Reproduction is the process by which new living things are made. There are two types of reproduction, sexual and asexual. Reproduction and sexual reproduction requires two parents to make one offspring. Asexual reproduction needs only one parent, which creates offspring that are exact copies of the parent. Reproduction. In this lesson, you will learn about reproduction in plants. Living things that use sexual reproduction have sex cells called gametes. These are split into male gametes and female gametes. In some living things, the male and female are separate, but in other living things, one organism contains both male and female gametes. In plants, the male gametes are contained in the pollen and the female gametes are contained in the ovules. Sexual reproduction happens when a male gamete and a female gamete join. This is called fertilization. Sexual reproduction produces offspring that are similar to both parents, but not identical to either. Insect or wind. In pollination, pollen from the stamen is transferred to the stigma. A pollen tube then grows down through the style to the ovary. The pollen travels down the pollen tube and fuses with an oval in the ovary. This is fertilization. Although flowers contain both male gametes in pollen and female gametes, ovules, most plants cannot fertilize themselves. They rely on other ways of transferring the pollen to the stigma. This starts the pollination and fertilization process. Two ways that flowers can be pollinated are by insect or by wind. Let's have a closer look at the parts of the flower. Pause the video and note down some of the keywords that you can see on the screen. In class, you're going to consider insect or wind pollination and you work with your teachers to consider how plants uh, can be pollinated and fertilised. Let's consider whether something is sexual or asexual. Some of these statements describe sexual reproduction and some of them describe asexual reproduction. Can you decide which are which? Pause the video, read the four different statements and decide which category they would fit into. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to look at these four different statements. Were you right? Let's have a look. So offspring are similar to their parents but not identical. Is sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction requires just one parent. Whereas sexual reproduction needs two parents. In asexual reproduction, it produces identical offspring. Let's go back to the aim at the start of the lesson and we're describing how some plants reproduce. In your lesson with your class teacher, you'll further explore the success criteria to see if you were successful today in achieving the aim. 